Tensions were once again high in the Rockwood School District tonight. Good evening, I'm Ann Allred. And I'm Mike Bush. Dozens of parents showed up at Rockwood's school board meeting to let board members know how they feel about teaching race in the classroom. Our Casey Nolan was at tonight's meeting and joins us live from Eureka. Casey. And Mike and Ann is still going on tonight, and I think it's safe to say after listening to people talk tonight, a lot of people here are hurting. We've had teachers in this district resign, administrators resign, some parents have pulled their kids out of school, and maybe what's most hurtful for some people is what they are fighting over. Now for some, in fact, a lot of the people here tonight, tonight's meeting was a chance to kind of be a counter to what they saw last week when Rockwood grabbed headlines around the country. That's when a group of parents met to talk about race in the Rockwood curriculum and most at that previous meeting spoke out against it. Well, parents don't want the teacher teach, don't want the school teaching so-called critical race theory in class. They say it shames white students. The district says it doesn't use critical race theory, but it stands by its efforts to offer a more inclusive and diverse curriculum. But tonight it all seemed to go a lot deeper than lesson plans. I send my kids to school for education. I don't send them to get a moral uh, lecture, a political lecture, a political ideology, an evil political ideology. Call it what you want, equity, critical, critical race theory, any educator will call it psychological child abuse. I've experienced things that I would have never imagined. From just the everyday, oh, you don't have a dad because you're black jokes, to being called the N-word multiple times. Change is hard. It is difficult. When you first see it, it can look and feel like activism. It can look and feel like it's political. I wish I had an easy solution to heal these problems. My greatest fear is that the current wounds are too deep for healing. And that man there was a longtime educator here in Rockwood. Uh, an emotional night for him and a lot of people in there tonight. There's also an issue of transparency. There's an email going around from a staff member that seemed to say that teachers should hide what they are teaching from parents and that did not go over well with parents on either side of this issue. The district says that email was not approved and does not represent what they are about. We also mentioned that the school board is going to take a stand. They put out a statement, a letter from the superintendent says that they stand behind their teachers and the curriculum they have chosen, but they have not gotten to that point. People are still talking inside at last check. The last thing they were talking about most recently, threats. Uh, teachers have been threatened, administrators have been threatened, and now parents who say they've been threatened because they complained in the first place. Like we said, a lot of tension here in Rockwood. Live in Rockwood, Casey Nolan, five on your side.